Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. From the earliest First Nations to present-day Albertans, we've thrived here by burning abundant fuels to stay warm. Now global energy and environmental realities are challenging us to find new ways of surviving Alberta winters. In this chapter called Staying Warm, we tell the story of innovative people who are working with sustainable heating technologies and adapting them for use in Alberta. Harold Verberg from so Trimline Design Center designs, sells, installs and teaches like solar thermal or hot water heating water systems. Better? Solar hot water heating is taking the sun's energy and moving that energy into, sol into a storage source, which is typically a fluid. The most common way for solar hot water heating to be used is heating your domestic hot water. In northern climates, because of the risk of water freezing in the collectors, a closed solar loop was devised with glycol as the usual heat transfer medium. With solar in a closed loop system, it's a heat exchanger from the solar loop that transfers the heat into your domestic hot water tank. Harold and his associates were interested in the potential for expanding our use of solar thermal to heating our homes and beyond. But there was one major challenge, too much heat in the system in the summertime. What do we do with the extra heat when your tank is full and the sun's still shining and your glycol gets so hot that it boils? Now we have to remove the glycol you have an overpressure condition and you have an overtemperature condition. They combined an old technology called drain back with their own flat plate collector design which has a tilted header for complete drainage. Now you can add extra collectors and you can do space heating with it as well because now in the summertime when you've got five extra panels and you only need two for hot water your tank fills up with heat, your pump stops, all your fluid flows back, no overheating, no degradation of fluid, Nothing like that. An enhancement to the system controller is a data logger, which works with your computer. The typical controllers that are on the market only look at header temperature and tank temperature, turn the pump on and off when it needs to be. But we always want to know that our system is working and that it's performing properly. So along with our controller, we've designed in a data logger so that we can actually see system performance. Harold and his partners are supplying solar thermal collectors to a large development in Sylvan Lake and expanding their research to combine solar with ground source heat pumps. Personally, I do this work because I have a passion for renewable energies. We have to get away from using non-renewable energies and we have to make it easy for the consumer to understand and we have to make it easy on the pocketbook and it's the best thing to do for the environment. This episode of Made in Alberta was sponsored by Trimline Design Centre, a source for alternative energy solutions. For more information, visit their website at www.trimlinedesigncentre.com or their showroom at 6772 99th Street in Edmonton. Join us again as we explore other new ways of staying warm in future Alberta winters. Mm -hmm.